This video is about the beautiful chemical element mercury. And you can see it in a high definition here. Just look at this wonderful shiny metal. The only metal that is liquid at room temperature. Room temperature is defined as 20 degrees Celsius. So even though it might be warmer in your room in summer and for example gallium will melt as well. That doesn't count because room temperature is defined as 20 degrees Celsius. So this is indeed the only metal to be liquid at that temperature. And at standard pressure, of course, but we're just assuming normal room conditions here. So you can see it's beautiful, it's shiny. Beautiful element with atomic number 80. Very heavy when you put it in your hand. Let's see that in slow motion. Here comes the flow of mercury. Splash. First drop hits the petri dish. More drops incoming. Until we have a beautiful flow of liquid metal. I think this is amongst the safest of liquid metals you can touch. Be careful not to breathe in the vapors for too long, so best do it with ventilation. Same as if you m uh, break an energy saving lamp, you should just uh, ventilate the room for at least 10 minutes. So with sufficient ventilation, this is a rather harmless liquid metal to touch. I dare you to touch molten iron, that won't leave severe burns and probably have you leave your hand amputated if you keep it in there for too long. So I think mercury is still amongst the safest of liquid metals you can touch. And it's sure beautiful as hell. Look at this. Wow. Don't you just love mercury? Such a beautiful element. Mercury is used in many appliances, such as tilt switches. It was previously used in thermometers as well, but it has been discarded because, well, it's not really good if you measure your fever with a mercury thermometer and break it and get it in your mouth and all. That's unnecessary, I guess, because there's always some vapors coming from it, from it. But as I said, if you put it on intact skin and just play with it for a while so you don't inhale the vapors for too long, it's quite a safe thing to play with. Just make sure you don't spill it on the floor so it doesn't sit there and evaporate forever because it's very hard to pick up again so you should do it on the table. I can easily pick up spills again. For example, cover it with paper so that you can easily uh, pick up the, the drops in case of any spills. You can see waves going through the liquid metal as it bounces off the walls. By the way, sadly, uh, mercury is not magnetic, so I can't play around with it in super magnets. Too bad. Another random fact is mercury freezes only at minus 38 degrees Celsius. That's compared to gallium. Gallium will turn liquid at about 30 degrees Celsius, so quite a bit above room temperature, but still safe to touch when it's molten. So let's try to melt it with just some hot water. Takes a while, but you can see how it turns more and more liquid. So we're putting it in the petri dish with hot water below, so it doesn't turn solid again too fast and well it's not as nice as mercury I guess and if you touch it it will stain your finger as well I'll just leave some little spots on there which you can probably see in the video in a bit there just leave stains everywhere especially if you pour it into plastic it will also stain the plastic Glass is kind of okay, as you can see here, but for plastic or for hands it will stain them. 
but at least it's non-toxic, so it's a safe thing to play with, but it's by far not as nice as Mercury. So, uh, surface is not as shiny, I guess. Especially as this one is uh, turning solid again. So, well, let's go back to Mercury, my all-time favorite. Oh, that looks great. Like a mirror. A mirror made from a potential poison. Beautiful, shiny, heavy. Very cold to the touch, of course. Because it is a very good thermal conductor. And really heavy. I can see it escaping. Seeping through my fingers, seeping off my hand. It's such a beautiful substance. Definitely the nicest non-radioactive element there is. <laughs> 